China is a densely populated country, with only 7% of the world's arable land and 6% of the global fresh water. How to feed 22% of the world population with limited arable land and fresh water is an issue of great importance in China. 1.2 million square kilometers of arable land is the bottom line for food security that China will hold on to firmly. Agricultural technology's development has played a critical role in solving China's food problems. Yuan Longping's hybrid rice technology, Li Zhengsheng's hybrid wheat technology, and Li Denghai's hybrid maize technology symbolize the development of China's agricultural technology, together with extensive international collaboration. These technologies have greatly increased the average output of China's individual grain categories. Chinese scientists have also developed salt-tolerant rice, which allows farmers to grow rice in alkaline soil. The contribution rate of China's agricultural technology has gone from 27% in the early 1980s to 58.3% in 2018. China's food self-sufficiency rate has maintained at above 95%. Since 2004, Chinese government released central number one documents to supervise agricultural development every year. Chinese government also released the new rural revitalization strategy that gave the very long objective of agricultural development. Following up this policy, we have the financial support. Government has invested huge money to agriculture. In 2018, our financial expenditure on for agriculture has reached about 22 trillion RMB. And it accounts for 10% of total financial uh, expenditure. We have taken a lot of measures to control the expanding of our agricultural pollution. We have extended the precising measurement of fertilizer system. So we check the elements of soil, then we, we designed the fertilizer solution for the special pieces of land. We don't like, we just abusing fertilizers. And also we try our best to reduce, to use our water. So we have micro irrigation system, including drip irrigation system. So I think we have done a lot.